When Cameron Diaz's character discovers that her man is already married to Leslie Mann's character, that's just the beginning. Both women then find out he's cheating on them with a third woman, played by Sports Illustrated swimwear model Kate Upton. Interviewing this trio, Jonathan had to play his trump card early. I got you those little pork crackling things because apparently you like them. What's that? What? I got those little pork crackling things. <gasps> I just saw them in the shop. You, you do. What does he have? Don't eat it during the interview. Okay. <laughs> What's our present? That doesn't cut. Wait, wait. We have to. That, no, don't use my six minutes to eat okay, your. Okay, well, your, 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 I your, promise. Thank you. Crackling. What is it? Oh, that's so <laughs> nice of you. That's so thoughtful. Thank Aww. you. But anyway. The best ever. Cameron. Yes. Kate. Yes. Leslie. Welcome to Top Billing. It's an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks for having us. The yes. interview hasn't started yet, but it's already my favorite interview ever. Oh. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the com comedy is a tricky thing because either you gel or you don't and it's, it's yes. very much a hit and miss so it must be quite a relief when you're going into a movie like this and you've got, all got that same comic ear you're the same timing yes. and everything just gels so perfectly yeah we were really fortunate that's a big deal it is mm. you, you remember, I mean I obviously I knew having Leslie come on I was like I was like crossing my fingers please 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 and when she came to play it was like ah. and and then when we actually got to go out and play it was like you know better than I could ever expect and then with Kate we had really no idea you know because she hadn't done anything before and yeah. you know I knew you know we knew each other's work but to sort of like take a little we were just like hey bring her on let's see what she and she killed it like, immediately yeah. we were just like blown away yeah. the first day she was ad-libbing and just like right dead dead on with the humor and the situation how can you be so amazing you could be friends with your husband's mistress yeah it's like a dream come true ignore her she's just working through some stuff right now she's in trouble but you smell amazing what is that uh, i think it's just sweat you're working with two queens of comedy i know <laughs> Cool yeah, just staring at them. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> she kept up, for sure. But I think it's important to say from the start as well that it's not so much the, the romance angle or the revenge angle that you're drawn to. It's that amazing, unique relationship that develops between the three of you because of, of this cheating guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the things that I think we were so excited. You know, one of my favorite films is uh, 9 to 5. And um, that storyline is very similar in that three women who are brought together who would otherwise not w know one another at all come together and have this like really dynamic relationship. And that's what I really loved yeah. about this this story as well. Do you guys care if I smoke? No. I kind of want one too. Since when do you smoke? Since whenever I want yeah. to smoke. Boy, this ought to be good. <laughs> if we find any more mistresses, okay. I'm going to have to send her to rehab. And it's a great thing as well. I mean... I just went completely blank there because I'm staring into your blue eyes and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Pork and and it's, it's, got a, it's got a lot to say about, you know, to women nowadays because you're so... You can look at me and then you can think. But you're just as bad. <laughs> I was, I was kind of hoping that you weren't going to be as gorgeous in real life, but it's actually worse. So, oh, you're so But, but, but it, you, it's got a lot to say about women because they're so fiercely competitive nowadays. And uh, it it's sh kind of shows you if you're coming from all these different angles and you can kind of work things out in the end. Yeah. And I mean, you've got a teenage daughter. You've All your nieces are, are teenagers. You're pretty much still a teenager. Yeah, exactly. You know what? I I find that girls aren't as competitive and uh, like with my daughter who's 16 and I have another one who's 11 it is it's totally different now you know they have their their hormones and so they're a little kooky in that way but they they are very supportive of one another it's it feels different than even when I was a kid you it need your girlfriends like even if you know there's a change yeah. happening they're so important to every aspect of your life the ups and the downs and you always just want to have your girls around so yeah. it's nice to see it on screen yeah, yeah. that's what what I loved about how the, what this story how it was so unique that these women didn't all of a sudden you know they didn't blame one another they didn't become angry with one another they realized that it was a weird situation and very yeah. unlikely that it could happen but at the same time they were both going they we're all going through the same thing. They're all, and that's what you need your girlfriends for. You need yeah. to go through life with your girlfriends, yeah. trying to understand what it is that, how to manage it, and how to move forward. And they really take each other on the low road for a little while. Mm -hmm. There's, we're not denying that, but ultimately, you know, we kind of 
ascend out of it and and kind of rise above it. So yeah. for me, it's just great to see such a strong female-led comedy because I don't come out very often, and it's very rare to to see one that just gels and just works. Yeah, uh -huh. thank you. Thanks. We're really proud of it. Yeah, it's a lot really of fun. Proud of it. <laughs> The Other Woman is not only headlined by an ensemble cast of very funny women, it's also making serious money for Hollywood. So expect more of them in the near future. My final thing is not a question, it's actually a request. So, like, you know, everyone's got like a You want to hang out with us after work? Uh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so we get so, it, we so get it. I've got this bucket list, okay, and, and right on top of the bucket list, along with becoming a top billing presenter and free diving of sharks and solving teleportation and climbing Kilimanjaro, get Cameron Diaz to do your voicemail. Oh, no way, really? So if you can just say something like, hi, this is Cameron Diaz. Jonathan can't come to the phone right now because he's busy giving me a back rub. Please try again later. Okay, I'm going to change that up a little you bit. You can change it up anyway. Okay. And you guys feel free to, to, to kind of, you know, um, you know that we're going to be... Hey, it's Cameron Diaz. Um, Jonathan can't get to the phone right now. He's really busy giving me a foot rub. Um, he'll get back to you as soon as he can. Okay, have a beautiful day. What if it's not Cameron, though? What if it's... <laughs> Maybe this is Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Hi, it's Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Jonathan can't come to the phone right now because he's rubbing my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. It's thank been you. an absolute pleasure. Thank you for my pork Thanks for taking off my old one. Sure. Back of Opening at cinemas nationwide today, the movie's comedic aim looks right on target. So, cheaters, beware.